Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome back. I apologize for the delay in getting these out to you. I did need to take some time off for personal reasons. Uh, still working through those things, <clears throat> but I did want to at least get these out to you for the beginning of the year. That said, I hope you had a wonderful uh, New Year's, Christmas season. Um, I just had one of these cards that I just noticed flipped over, and that might just be me being a little crazy. Uh, but that said, uh, Scorpio, let's do a quick read for you and see what is going on for you this week. <clears throat> We're going to look at your current energy, desires, outcome, what's working for you, and what you need to be aware of. And off the start, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So somebody that's really thinking about how to prepare for the future uh, and make sure that they have the things that they need. Uh, Seven of Swords in your desires. Um, kind of interesting that maybe things, you're wanting things to slide a different way. This is really not according to plan. Maybe you're getting bored with the sort of mundanities of life. The outcome is the Page of Swords. Uh, so this could be a delay. Um, this could also be disappointing news. Three of, uh, Three of Swords is what's working for you. So maybe somebody that's heartbroken, where somebody has had a, uh, a breakup or separation, and that might be causing uh, you to change and move forward. And what you also need to be aware of is the Knight of Swords. Uh, so a chaotic uh, energy that is sort of taking um, taking action. You're just sort of cutting through a lot of the different things in life. Um, yeah. Let's go through and let's start to clarify what's going on with this. So the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the sun, the queen of swords, and the two of cups. So in your preparations and looking at the future and how that's going to be, you're fairly certain of the success uh, around that because you've got this, um, this mindset where things are clear to you. And at the same time, uh, this success or this future that you're looking at um, could actually just be with a significant connection with the Two of Cups here, where you see that you know there is a future with this person, and you're fairly clear that it's going to be a decent future. Now the Seven of Swords is clarified by the Chariot, the Hierophant. Mm -mm -mm. Dropping out cards. And the Five of Pentacles. So although things may not be going according to plan, um, sometimes we hope for something to do a bit of a shakeup. And that shakeup's coming. And believe it or not, we have the Chariot, the Hierophant, and the Five of Pentacles. Um, this Chariot is one of those things where, you know, you've got to you've got to knuckle up. Things to drive a Chariot, it takes some energy. Um, you know, hold on, buckle up. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but you also have to know your destination, and that destination looks like marriage. Uh, with this Two of Cups and the Hierophant card. Hierophant card can also be one of those things where it's somebody that's coming in to help. Uh, to me, this is my, when I read, this is typically my marriage card. And we see that you don't want to miss out on that. So why is the Page of Swords here? Why is the Page of Swords here for you? There's a delay, but after that delay or disappointing news, things start to move really quickly. There's a lot of communication that comes in, uh, and it might be overwhelming with this Nine of Swords here where you're like, oh my God, this is just too much. Can I handle this? And rest assured, yeah, you can. We have the Queen of Swords showing up. Uh, this is somebody that is very... Um, they're sort of the life of the party. They're somebody that's adaptable. They're um, busy, that type of thing. Um, <clears throat> so why is the three of swords here? So why is the three of swords here? I have cards flipping out all over the place. I'm going to take it. Three of swords. 
uh, clarified by the Five of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Judgment. Now this seems, the Judgment is uh, your energy, and it almost feels like there's a lot of um, quarreling, um, just kind of like minor bickering that's happening with somebody that you care about. Uh, and it's creating a lot of, yeah, sadness and heartache. And at the same time, you know that there is, you might be, you might even be fighting over money. And let's face it, the things that people most likely fight over are sex, money, and children. Um, so not really surprising something to uh, be fighting over. But why is the Knight of Swords here? Now this could also be that you're fighting with somebody from the past uh, with the Judgment card here. Why is the Knight of Swords here? It seems like any action that you're taking, or action is better than any action. Uh, and you need to be aware of it. Uh, but whatever you're taking action towards could result in a new opportunity for you that you didn't see. That, or there's a major choice uh, that's going to put your skills to the test. And either way, once you're sort of in that sort of test mode, things actually come out fairly successful. Now let's have a look at, I want to pull three more cards regarding this spread uh, for you. Well, that's really nice. Um, we have the Six of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Justice card. So whatever is going on for you, this conflict, um, it's going to balance out for you. And once it balances out, you're going to be able to feel that things start uh, moving towards this dream life that you're looking for. Uh, and this could be this could be with this new match um, once things sort of settle down and you get to that point where you know what let's just beg to differ and let's just move forward because hey you know we love each other we care about each other and let's create the life that we want where we both feel fulfilled Scorpio that is what I have for you today thanks for being here leave me a comment um, and let me know how this resonates with you thanks we'll talk to you next time